as a residential mower, this is the most on steroids residential mower you're gonna have. If they had this pitched as your ultimate commercial mower, I'd have some downgrades to talk about because when I compare this mower to you know, a $15,000 big beefy Xmark commercial zero turn, it's a different ball game. But when you say this is residential, this is the Hulk Hogan of residential mowers. Travis Sheen, Rick Rue to meet Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat. guys and in the Aaron's lineup there's really only two mowers that I'm somewhat impressed by if you guys know the Aaron's mower lineup they build themselves to be more of a residential platform but the two mowers I'm talking about is the Aaron's apex and the brand new Aaron's Zenith coming out which is gonna be a commercial grade mower in their lineup and in my opinion they have this set as a residential mower but to me it's as close as you're gonna to get to commercial without saying the word commercial. And there's only a couple reasons why I say that. To me, this machine is 100% commercial ready. The two things you're missing is standard ROPS built in. This is capable, so you can put over rollover protection on here. And the engines on the Apex, nothing is commercial. It doesn't have a commercial Kawasaki. I think it's either the FR FS series. I can't remember off the top of my head and you got the Kohler. So the difference you're gonna get with the Zenith is pretty much this same platform, but you're getting a commercial engine, commercial filtration, and standard ROPS, maybe a couple other little things. I'm not gonna get into that, but today we're talking about the Apex. So with this mower, in my opinion, the stuff I've ran into, stuff I've heard, transmissions, transaxles are killing your longevity of your residential mowers. This mower itself has Hydro Gear 3100s on it, which are, in my opinion, a commercial grade transmission for these mowers. And on this mower, you have a really beefy tubular frame. You're gonna have a 10 gauge, all welded, fabricated deck. So these decks in this frame are very beefy. And in my opinion, like I said, commercial grade, even though they call it a residential mower. You're gonna have a very beefy rear wheel and tire package for holding hills leaving a little bit less of an imprint with these machines are a little heavier in a residential platform. Make sure you're mowing different patterns. You don't want to be beating that up. But extremely beefy front wheels and casters. As you guys may have seen, we did some videos either on my channel or on G4 Outdoors. If you haven't checked it out, go over to G4 Outdoors and check those out. But we did some stuff on the Aaron's Icon X, which is an extremely residential platform. If you're a person out there just looking to mow your grass one time a week, not mowing any other properties, that's gonna be the mower for you. Has very small front tires, is a residential mower. And this is a total, like I couldn't even explain what this is. This is the big, big brother to those mowers. If they consider this residential, I consider it 100% prosumer. And from the seated position on this mower, everything's accessible as you would expect on normal zero turns. Handles are here. You've got a quick disconnect for your deck. So if you're looking, you're mowing, you see something, you can instantly get this deck up, avoid hitting tree stumps. Also how you're gonna be changing the height on this mower, put it to a different position, pop it in, lock it down, pull this out, put it in another position, drop the deck and you're ready to go. So everything on your instrument cluster is right here for your access. It's right next to you, ready to go. You got your hour meter, which is showing that we have 11 hours on this machine is all we put on it. You have your PTO switch for engagement of blades, your key on, ignitions turn on, choke for the motor, and throttle right here. Everything is right here at your disposal for use. And 
everything is all on the same side. Something I hated about a lot of mowers, I'm not gonna name out there, they put things everywhere. I got levers everywhere. Everything's on this side of the mower. So I can put this up, pull my e-brake up. Everything's right here on the side, which is takes away all that where is this stuff action, which always annoyed me on mowers. All right, and from where I was sitting to where my feet were, you have this nice little platform under here with little uh, die drilled, I don't know what you call that, kind of a traction plate for your feet. But this will all lift up and lock itself into place so it won't want to fall over on you. Ignore the dirt, because obviously we've been mowing, going through a lot of leaves and a lot of cleanup with this thing, and it's kicking butt, man. But you have easy access for this, so say, God forbid it happens, you run into a tree root or a stump or a water meter thing you didn't know and you busted this middle spindle, you can get to it super easy to take that out and adjust it if you want to. Same thing with your spring tensioner and blowing this stuff out. So when you do get a lot of debris in here, you can literally blow this out all the way to your outside spindle covers, which are also vented, and you can just blow all that debris off the top of the deck and keep all those wear points and from getting all gummed up with dirt and grass and all that stuff so it's pretty nice to just be able to do that this staying up pull it up back down in place and you're ready to go and just like the floor plate the seat itself also will come up so you can get to anything you need to if you need to get to your fuses if you need to get to uh quick access to your hydro fluid your battery this stuff's all under here and it's a lot easier to get to because with this seat down and mounted down it's a lot harder to get to some of that stuff so it's nice to have these open and accessible access points on the zero turns. If you guys pay attention to my channel or if you're new because you're researching this mower, I run all standards in my business just because they're so open to everything. And uh, I never like the big bulkiness of zero turns, but I like the fact of how they've incorporated all this stuff to make a lot of the things a little bit easier to get to. Okay, and going on to that powertrain system, and I'm not going to get really into it and let you know what every engine spec is and all that stuff. This one has a Kohler. You can go Kohler. You can go Kawasaki. And this platform, like I said, uh, Hydro Gear 3100, you have a good engine platform, but for a residential mower, you also have a five-gallon gas tank, which for a residential mower mowing their property, say you had two, three acres, that gas is going to go a lot farther for you than having like a one or two-gallon tank that you're constantly having to fill up. So having the extra fuel capacity makes quite a bit difference if you're out there mowing for a long time. And the other thing that's really cool about the Aaron's Apex system, a lot of these zero turns you would see in the residential platform, these sides where they just have plastics for cosmetics is usually where your gas tank would be. But like what I was saying, when the seat flies up, your gas tank is down here, uh, kind of above your wheel motors, but having that gas tank down under your seat kind of puts more of a lower center of gravity on this mower. So when you're talking about hills and just more stability on the mower, with a full gas tank, you're getting a little more of that down into the mower, making it a little bit more of a stable machine for hills and things like that. One of the other things I like a lot on the Aaron's Apex is you have a way beefier deflection shield. Probably doesn't matter to a lot of people, but me as a commercial user on a lot of machines like this, I don't want to have a bungee cord having this up. Okay, I get it. Not are you supposed to mow this way. It's made to deflect. But when you're out here in wide open fields and you just want this stuff to go and not kind of shoot on the next you know, line or two, it's nice being able to have this to lock up and not have to bungee it up or take it off. I really like that option on these. But also in the Aaron's and Gravely platform, I think they have one of the easiest ways to adjust your deck. So say you accidentally hit something or one of these little keeper nets comes loose and stuff gets out of whack, it's very easy to just loosen these up and adjust the bolts from the top and get this deck back to where it needs to be, pitched a quarter inch, half inch, however you need it to be. I just think the system's always been relatively easy when it comes to adjusting the deck and getting everything right where it needs to be. And one of the other things you're gonna get in the Aaron's Apex lineup is a five-year warranty on the deck shell and the frame, but not only your five-year warranty, but this is 100% made in the USA. So you have that as a backbone as well. All right, guys, well, that's enough being said. I'm not gonna get into all the specs. If you guys wanna check that stuff out, hop on Google and search the Aaron's Apex. I'm just giving you my run over opinion on a lot of the things that this mower has that I like. I don't really have a lot of stuff I don't like on this machine because I mean, for what it is, as a residential mower this is the most on steroids residential mower you're going to have if they had this pitched as your ultimate commercial mower 
I'd have some downgrades to talk about because when I compare this mower to you know a $15,000 big beefy Xmark commercial zero turn it's a different ball game but when you say this is residential this is the Hulk Hogan of residential mowers but enough about me talking about it let's get some mowing in Right, guys there you go quick little I don't know time lapse or you want to call it montage of doing some mowing with the apex 60 and I'm just gonna leave it at that guys leave some comments down below what do you guys think about this mower especially as a residential mower I think this thing is a tank as far as a residential mower goes Randy what's the price point do you remember Randy's got his new truck over here he's so excited you remember the price 6, point of this? right around six thousand dollars so in my opinion, if you were a guy starting a lawn care company, maybe you're doing it on the side, mowing anywhere between zero and 25 properties a week, you're not gonna go wrong with a machine like this at an entry price of $6,000. This thing, in my opinion, is built to mow and it's gonna mow well. It's got the 3100 hydros on it. The only upgrade I could say would be like engine and stuff like that, which I said you can get on the Zenith platform. But as far as the Apex 60 goes, guys, let me know what you think. What do you guys think about this mower? I'd love to hear it in the comments, and I'm sure the people of the errands would love to hear about the comments too. But until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.